What's up? It's going down. Story time. Someone very close to me and my wife was born with a condition and spent her entire life blind. She's now in her 60s. She would grow up and her parents wouldn't really know how to deal with her and they would become physically and verbally abusive. She would run away at 15 and never look back. A blind woman on her own, making friends and living life. Then she would have a man get her pregnant. He would then skip out because she, he got a blind woman pregnant. So she would raise a son as a single mom who had the same condition as her. And they've watched him now in his 40s as the lights have gone out. He now sees as if he's looking through two straws on a good day. She has lived 60 some years blind. He at 16 had a car and now at 40 some years old can barely see it all after several, several surgeries for the limited sight he has. His mom was able to spend many years as a business owner and she was afforded this opportunity because in the state of Michigan, every single rest stop that you stop on the state highways where you pull off and you use the restroom and there's vending machines, every vending machine at every rest stop in the state of Michigan on the highway is owned by visually impaired people. Every time you buy a bag of chips, every time you buy a soda, a coffee, an ice cream treat, whatever, from these rest stops on the highway, that money is going directly to a visually impaired business owner. She was able to do this and make a living and, and provide for a son that was going blind. And she lived a great life. She made it. And her and her son had tough times. She didn't know how to deal with the blind son. She, she was blind herself. Her parents didn't know how to deal with her. and She didn't have a great upbringing. They had tough times. And she was blind and he was going blind. But she made it and she worked and she was a business owner because she was able to own these vending machines at rest stops on the highway in the state of Michigan. In the end, this poor woman would get cancer, though. She's still with us, but she would beat the cancer, retire from the vending machine ownership, and now it has come back. This poor woman spent her whole life blind, got pregnant, and the man bailed on her, raised a son that went blind, got cancer, was a business owner, retired and beat the cancer, and now the cancer's back. I am very grateful and thankful that I can see, I can hear, I can breathe, I can taste, I can walk, I can feel. I have all four of my limbs. I can think individually. Mostly I'm trying to say my aunt, my, my wife's and I's great friend and lifelong family member will get through it and will get by. But the crazy thing is, is the only thing she's worried about is her son. If something happens to her, she's more worried about this 40-some-year-old man who's going blind, almost blind, after many surgeries to barely have the sight he has. He's worried. She's worried about him. She's not worried about why this sucks. Oh, I can't believe this is happening to me. No, she's worried about, oh, what's going to happen to him? Take care, everybody. Love each other. Appreciate each other. Shout out to all the vending machine the people that spend money in the vending machines on the highways in the state of Michigan, you're giving money to visually impaired people. 
every state highway in the state of Michigan when you pull off at the rest areas and you use the restroom and you grab a bite to eat from the vending machines and the drinks and the whatever, your money's going to visually impaired people. Much love. I'm out.